Heritage Park has an exceptional therapy department, and Elizabeth and Darlene are here with more details on Moving Forward is uh, kind of the broad name for the for all you offer. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, talk to me about, uh, specifically, I wanted to talk about the difference between at-home therapy, outpatient therapy. Speak okay. to that. Um, sometimes when people have been in the hospital, they may go home with some home health care therapy services. Those are usually very short in duration. And of course, you're in the house. So really what you have for equipment is what a therapist can bring to you. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in an outpatient setting, the gym usually has a lot more equipment. Um, you're able to do more complex things. It has its kind of place in the continuum. Sometimes home care is the best because maybe you really aren't in a condition to be out and about every day. Sure. So uh, the therapies that you offer at uh, Heritage Park it would be what? Ranging we, from what to what? We offer physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Uh, physical therapy, I think everybody's most familiar with. Mm -hmm. That's really where we're working on balance and strength and maybe someone has pain. Um, maybe working on their walking if they've had surgery or something. Occupational therapy, a lot of times people say, I, I'm retired, why would I need occupational therapy? Uh -huh. It's kind of a misnamed thing, I think. Um, occupational therapy works a lot on people's ability to care for themselves, whether that's dressing themselves, bathing, maybe doing their own homemaking. You mm -hmm. know, maybe they're having trouble getting around well enough to prepare a meal, do their laundry, that sort of thing. Um, and then speech therapy also has a bit of a broad scope. Speech therapy, a lot of times people are familiar with because if someone's having trouble swallowing, speech works mm. on exercises and, and techniques for that to help somebody safely consume their meal. Um, speech also works a lot on people's ability to think, remember, problem solve, often problems after someone's had a stroke or had some other kind of neurologic injury. So uh, when, I, when I come to you, uh, there's also, you have inpatient therapy too. So I guess those, those different types that you just explained yeah. could be inpatient or yes. outpatient? Yes, if you need more intense services, you might be inpatient with us in our Moving Forward program. If you're kind of graduated from that level and maybe only need to have therapy two or three times a week, you might be an outpatient. Uh, I would imagine frequently you go <coughs> from one to the other. You can, sure. Yeah. And sometimes people come just for outpatient, too. They don't have to come through inpatient first. Is this something I discuss with my doctor? Is he ultimately telling me where I'm going, or is this...? Yes. Um, your doctor's a great resource because he knows you. So um, often, though, people will find themselves in the hospital, and that's how they end up with our inpatient setting. Mm -hmm. But yes, your doctor often will make the referral for therapy. We need some kind of a physician's order for therapy services. Okay. I uh, want to talk about uh, the five-star services that you guys, five-star rated that you've been, uh, you know, continuing yes. to receive. That's fantastic. Yes, our five-star rating is something that we're very proud of. Uh, at Heritage Park, we offer the full continuum. We have independent living, assisted living, moving forward rehab, um, extended care services, uh, memory care, and respite care services on our campus. And that's uh, that's really, like you said, yes. that's the full service. Yes, it's, it's... we're able to meet every need. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. someone wants to find out about your facility, how simple is that? They're welcome to stop by for a tour. Uh, we have someone available all the time to give tours. Uh, we're located 2001 Hobson Road. Mm -hmm. So what is that? I keep forgetting. I've, I've been there, and it's like, wait, mm -hmm. Hobson, and I go right mm -hmm. off Stell. We're in between Lake and State. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh -huh. simple enough. I have mm -hmm. one of those where I'm, once I sit here on the couch and try to give directions, <laughs> uh -huh. it never works. So um, is, is if I'm receiving therapy, is, is there a... How much of that, I guess, can you predict, like, how long things take? Is there a general practice, you know, if I've there's, had this operation maybe this yeah, long? Yeah, there's general guidelines, and it really depends a lot on how the person was doing before, whatever happened to mm -hmm. them now. Mm -hmm. If they were doing really well and getting around well, then they're maybe going to have a little quicker recovery than somebody who maybe had sort of a lingering problem before what ultimately brought them to us. Mm -hmm. They maybe had already become less active, and so they're not going to be as strong and have as good an endurance. Do people come visit you? You typically before the before whatever surgery they may have planned? You know what? We have both. So yeah. often people will come mm -hmm. and schedule a tour and they'll come and see the therapy department, talk to us a little bit, kind of lets them know what to expect, where they're going. Um, I think that gives them a nice comfort level then when they come back if they're scheduling surgery. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so uh, again, and there's no cost to take the tour no to, 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 to find out what tour. you want to see. No. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so uh, if I want to call ahead, best w number? If you want to call ahead, uh, 48260. 484-9557 is our direct line. Um, our, <clears throat> you're also able to just stop by. Yeah. Come on in and take a tour. Look at the list of services they yes. offer at Heritage Park. We'll be right yes. back on Insight.